So, hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabB Programming. In this video, we will developing the simulated DAQ VI, means simulated data acquisition VI. Okay, so for that, I had created some sub VIs, which I am going to show you. And I had tested, I had created this data over limit VI, this create log string VI, appendant text file VI, and appendant log in the directory sub VI. Okay. I need one more sub VI to create, and that will be a simulate sub VI, simulate data sub VI. So I am going to create that sub VI first. Then I will try to, I will display, I will show you how can we design the simulate sub VI functions. Okay. So for that, here I am going to write a easiest program in the field of lab view. Come into the front panel. Here I will take one error in. Okay. And after that, take it out. Like this. No error and error are covered. Now right click and take random number generator, multiply with 10 to increase the range. So now the my function will generate simulated data value. Now right click use a default unwire. Control A, Control U. No need. Edit icon. Create a sub VI. Double click and open it. Right click. To input to output. Right click, edit icon. Now create get simulated data. First select all. Delete get simulated data sorry get simul a t e d data okay shave it get c move l simulated data sub vi now my all sub vi has been done now we will try to developing a data equations vi for the data equations and to understand the complete data equations so let's start the designing. So for that, I will close my this VI completely and I will open one more new VI. And now I will try to generate something. First of all, right click. and take a while loop
now create a stop button first add sub vi take my get simulated data vi then data into limit vi sub vi data over limit sub vi i am taking data over limit sub vi is get simulated vi connect like this data in right click create con control limit in to display this data to display this data we need one indicators so for that indicator i am taking one waveform chart i will connect this waveform chart here with the name of data chart okay after that right click take a case structures and place here now this one is my data exceed so let's connect this data exceed button with this okay data over limit i can give the name data over limits okay data over limits nice now create to lock string take one another create to log string place here right click here right click come to the timing vi get time get date and time string connect this functions here get date and time string and open the label here send the data out to data and limits to the limit limits okay and data limits to limits and data to data now here i will right click and i will write down data you can use this functions also here we are while labeling our wire now last functions maybe which i had created here and that is up and end lock to directories up and end lock to directory directories in this system and take it out okay 
So this wire will carry my data. Here I am creating one shift register. I am taking one numeric constant here that is the form of integer in the form of integer. Then I will take an increment button. Increment button is a counter. Increment button will be act like a counter. When data will exceed the limit, the counter will count how many times the data. Okay. So it will my data counter. Sorry. Sample. Okay. So what will be the output of data counter? So output of data counter will be SAM. Really sample of over limit sample of over limit right now here let's take our gate and connect it with the stop button And connect here. If any error will come out or any kind of if any kind of error will come out, error will occur, then it will perform the action. Okay. Now come into the false. If data will be not over limit, so no need to write anything. Now I think my program is set, but before that, right click here, come into the create property node, history data, right click, change to write, create constant, and connect. And here, one more thing we need to take, and that is right click, invoke node, hurry in slice to default value for this stop button. Let's try to run. If I will try to run the program, so I will get one. Okay. So before that, right control A, control U. Now my program is quite small. Okay. I think I need to delete this. Sorry. Here, I right click in this wire. Close the label. So now I can minimize slightly. Now it will be visible to you. So here, nice. Now it is much readable and accessible. Let's try to run. I will get one error. I didn't get any kind of error. So let's check. I am able to create file or not. No, I didn't able to create any file. I will only okay. I will face only problem. Here I am not facing any problem because here I am getting the error because there is no path. Okay. So first here only sample that is override it. So here 
I'm going to sample that will be a zero. That will be a zero. Okay. And o number of overrided sample is one. And here I'm going to stop. There's only one thing. I need to save this program first. When I will save this program, okay. C simulated T A Q V I. Okay. Simulated D A Q V I. When I then I will run. So I will get the data properly. Okay. And when I will stop the button. So maybe I will get one new log file. Here. Now you can see I get this new log file with the data. So in this way you can design your file and log system your DAQ simulated DAQ using your own code. So thank you for watching this video.